Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, joined here by Jake Montgomery, Master Club Fitter at our Minneapolis store. And we're out on the driving range at Les Bolstead today on a very pleasant but very buggy yeah. morning here. If you see us swatting that bug, that's because they're flying all around us here. But um, today we've got a fun comparison. We've got mm -hmm. the last three generations of your, I guess, standard or high MOI drivers from Callaway. Yep. So uh, they've been obviously using all that AI computer generation technology mm -hmm. to implement into the drivers. We have the last three here, Rogue ST Max, Paradigm and Paradigm AI Smoke Jake. So yep. I guess, what have you seen from these last three years of Callaway drivers, how they've improved? What have they added mm -hmm. into the models year by year? Absolutely, so Rogue ST, this thing was real fast. This speed cartridge is back there, 26 grams of tungsten, pull that weight back and yeah. low, helps increase forgiveness, increase MOI, get more ball speed across mm -hmm. the face. This was a real fast driver. Uh, Callaway Paradigm here with the 360 chassis. Yeah. It allows them to take all the weight pretty much in the midsection and throw it in the back. Again, that increases MOI. They're able to reposition that weight really well. And then with the AI jailbreak, they made yeah. the um, frame here a little bit firmer. That allows the face to get more flex, faster yeah. ball speed while remaining pretty stable. And then on the AI Smoke, their new smart face, this thing has been real good this year. Yeah. So they put thousands of swings into their supercomputer and ran 250,000 simulations, I believe, to get the topography that you see on the back there now. So yep. if you see on the back side of the face of the driver, it looks almost like a mountain range. So that variable thickness allows for more ball speed on miss hits, better spin rates, pretty much optimal conditions from wherever you might strike it. Yeah, I think that's the big thing that Callaway has really focused on this year with the AI mm -hmm. Smart Face is, you know, they've done everything with different weighting, right? And the Rogue ST Max and the Paradigm, they've taken weight out of the center of the head and kind of distributed it to, to yep. the mass on the outside, but mm -hmm. now they've worked on the face. So yes. they've taken out jailbreak mm -hmm. um, because they needed to really optimize the face with this new structure that yep. they've kind of uh, formulated through their computer. Mm -hmm. and. You're right. If, if you've seen the other side of it, um, on the inside of it, we got a chance to look at it. Yeah. And it's a really weird something you wouldn't formulate in your in mm -hmm. your brain. Um, you know, it's something that only a computer could generate. And Absolutely. so um, the design with that, you know, they, they claim, you know, X number of yards on heel shots, mm -hmm. X number of yards on toe shots that you're gaining versus other drivers um, or maybe past drivers from yeah. Callaway. So um, I think in terms of look now, if in fitting customers mm -hmm. over the last few years, what have you gotten in the feedback from the look on these drivers? Have you gotten pretty good feedback for the most part? Callaway is always a company where I give them something, they set it down, like this looks real good. Especially yeah. this AI smoke, I have not yet really had a complainer about the look of it. The carbon fiber top with this kind of metallic top yeah. line there, it just looks really clean, sets it, sets it to the ball pretty well. Nice, yeah. I mean, and, and actually going back to the Rogue ST mm -hmm. is when they kind of went to a matte finish yes, one year, 100%. which I liked a lot. Mm -hmm. Then they went back to kind of that glossy finish. But yep. um, so yeah, there's obviously some differences in them. We're going to hit mm -hmm. them today. Uh, just get some good shots with each driver, see if there's any major differences. And also we'll talk about feel and sound as yep, well. So um, Jake, we're going to have you hit some shots today. We've got the driving range here. You ready to go? Perfect. Let's do it. All right. Rogue ST Max. Mm -hmm. um, first impressions on again. We've you haven't probably hit this in a while. So no. what's your first impression on how that looks? See so down to the ball. It looks pretty traditional for a usual Callaway. A little longer in this back section there. Yeah. Pretty square face. I am somewhat familiar with this overall look just because I play the Rogue ST Seven wood. Oh. Okay. So I still have that kind of familiarity in my bag there. But looks overall pretty clean. I like the transition of the mat into the kind of carbon fiber sure. there. Yep. I'd say this sets up eh, just a hair closed, but I'm used to a TSR3 that sets up a little open. So oh, okay. this just looks a little more closed in relation to it. Sure, sure. Okay. First swing, nice high. It's, is that just a slight cut? Okay. I couldn't actually really tell what uh, you were looking at there. Yeah, those are pretty, pretty darn good numbers yeah. to start with there. Very efficient. And so for those looking at the screen here with full swing, I it says it's a 3W for 3 wood, but I've actually, just keep in mind, that's our Rogue ST Max for today. There's some different labeling I have to do on this. Mm -hmm. This We've got our TrackMan coming back soon, but in the meantime, we're using this. There's a draw. Those are two really good swings to start here. Yep, I like that. Yep, so how about the feel, those two swings? Both yeah, I mean, pretty darn good there. Pretty solid. It's a, a very muted feel. Like it doesn't have a real tanginess or a sharpness to it. No. It feels pretty kind of thuddy, but in a good way. Yeah, I think so. 
All right, I pulled that one a bit. Eh, slightly. I mean, it's still, you know, that's just barely left of the target yeah. there. So a little bit lower, though, in terms of ball flight on that one. Yeah, I cut it kind of low on the face. That'd have a little bit more spin Okay, to it. definitely did have a little bit more spin, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And that's that's the that's what happens mm -hmm. when you go low on the face. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So right now the average spin is thirty one oh nine. Okay. With that one factored in, so. Yep. A lot lower spin. <laughs> Nineteen twenty with that one. I'm gonna zoom in on our dispersion map here just so people have a because it starts with it's so zoomed out and it's uh, like geez look at that tight dispersion yeah, yeah. <laughs> but. Um, I mean, it's still a good dispersion. I mean, I, I would say all four of those tee shots so far are, are in the fairway. You might yeah. have the one that you miss it just a little bit shorter, yeah. but you're still totally in the fairway. So, that was probably the best ball yet. Yeah, yeah, you were feeling it today, sir. That was a that was yeah. that was a two seventy carry on that one, twenty thirty on the spin. And so, actually, what I'm going to do because mm -hmm. that was five pretty darn good swings. Yeah. So I'll go through the averages quick, and mm -hmm. then what I'm going to do is actually take out that kind of low face yeah. shot for fun as well, because I think that's really going to optimize the numbers. Mm -hmm. So um, average carry is at 260. Okay. Average total then at 275. And that's, again, we're going to take that one shot out and really yeah. look at these. But the average spin rate with that one that was over 4,000 spin, 26.55. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back in here in the averages. Ball speed average, 157.1. .1. The club speed was 105.8, so that mm -hmm. smash factor then comes out to 1.49. Yeah, pretty good. So you're hitting the ball very efficiently, right? And then we'll have to just talk about the apex uh, height as well, at 113 feet. So yeah. launching it high, yeah. giving you plenty of you know spin, mm -hmm. right? Especially, again, we talk about that miss hit. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take out what was that low face shot here. Let me go by the spin rate because I know what the spin rate was on that one. It was well in the 4,000s. I'll just remove that one quickly. And this will be kind of our baseline numbers for the rest of this because it's going to be pretty darn good. So, um, all right, if we go back, look at all the shots here. So we've got all the data. I'm going to go mm -hmm. through the carry. The carry goes to 265. Total then goes up to 281. Okay. And then your average spin rate, 2085. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then we go back to the smash factor as well, 149 again. Apex height goes up to 115. So really good numbers there. I mean, that, mm -hmm. is that... I mean, we're talking about a club that's two years old, but yeah. I think that's still really good stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm very pleased with that. Yeah. I mean, then dispersion, too, as I kind of zoom in here, you got kind of everything. I mean, the center line is right here. So yeah. you really are just slightly right of the center line okay. of this club right now. Yeah. So, um, all right. We've got one club down. Mm -hmm. Should we just kind of keep going in order of, I guess, the chronological order? Yeah. So let's try we'll paradigm go next. to the paradigm. Okay, the Paradigm mm -hmm. Driver. This yep. is a, another new look from Callaway. Absolutely. Um, I kind of, I'll be honest, when I when they first had this navy blue, I didn't love it at first, mm -hmm. and I still don't really, I'm not in love with the combination of sort of that dark gray and then the navy blue, but I guess give me your thoughts on it. Yeah, I mean, I would agree. When they first came out with the blue, I didn't know how much I liked it. I don't know, it was just because I've been around the driver for a year and a half yeah. now, but it's really grown on me. I don't mind the look too much these days. Um, I don't mind a glossy top as well. Seeing that little sun right there doesn't bother me yeah. too much. Very clean top line. This one doesn't look nearly as closed as that Rogue ST did okay. to me. Um, very square edge, kind of what Callaway is sure. known for on a driver there. Okay. And yeah, I mean, I'd say overall pretty clean look. Doesn't bother me in any way. And then one thing we didn't talk about too is actually the shaft that we're using today. Yes. So we're using the same shaft for all three drivers, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Ventus TR Blue 6X. Okay. So stiffer handle mid-launch shaft. Okay. I generally don't launch the ball super high. That's why I grabbed 10 and a half degree heads and a higher launch shaft. There we go. All right, let's see what now the Paradigm can do here against mm -hmm. those really good numbers from Rogue ST Max. That draws, bringing it back towards yeah. the center there. What'd that launch at? Launch angle 16.3. Okay, yeah, I thought that was a little higher. Uh, your attack angle is 4.3 on that one, okay. so. You're hitting up on it. Ooh, we got two different ball flights here. Yeah, that was a little more of a bullet. Another really good ball there. Yeah. One five zero on the smash. I think that's. I don't know if you did that with the other driver. I, think I don't know if I reached all, a one five zero. I think they're all one four nine. Little toe ball. Oh yeah. Really toe, huh? Yeah. Interesting. 
Interesting. Yeah, and that still flows out or flies out there really, really nicely. Mm -hmm. And that spin still stays down too, even though it's. What was the smash on that one? You know, one five zero again. Yeah, and I hit that way on the toe. Did you? Yeah. I guess the numbers kind of suggest that with it being a little bit out to the right yet off the toe. Really good ball there. 124 feet in the air for a toe ball is pretty good. Oh, oh man. That's pretty good. Yep. That one's very good. Spinny? Another one that's a little bit spinny. Okay, okay. That one feel a little bit different? It felt just pretty solid on okay, that one. Okay, because that one the smash was also one four eight, which I, I not a it's not a bad smash track. No. But you've been pitting the, the last couple before that were in five mm -hmm. so that's why I, My guess is that one was maybe a little lower in the face than I thought. Okay. A little push, pretty good contact. Yep. Yeah, you hit that one good, just yeah. out a little bit to the right. All right, so what I'm going to do is mm -hmm. provide the same sort of treatment that I did through August T Max, yeah. and I'll remove maybe the one, so to speak, worst shot here. Yeah. Um, which, let's see, was the you carried it 244 was mm -hmm. sort of the the uh, weakest shot there. So I will take that one out of the set, and then we'll kind of go from there. So. Uh, overall, you swung this one a little slower, yeah. which is, you know, I, I know today we're we're trying to, you're, 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 you get your fairway winder swing yeah, today. Yeah, 100%. Think. So, um, you know, not going to be perfect, but I think the efficiency is the most important thing. So I'm yeah. going to go to the average smash factor, and we were both at 149 and 149. Yeah. With your August T-Max, you had one shot that got 150. Mm -hmm. The Paradigm, you had two of them get 150, 148, and 148 were the other two shots. Okay. So very efficient with both. Mm -hmm. And if you look at dispersion here as well, that last shot brought it out a little bit out to the, kind yeah, of to the right there, push. but still, I think the other three shots, generally, mm -hmm. you had kind of this more left, you were bringing it back left a little yeah, bit more. I thought I saw more. a little bit more draw with the Paradigm. For sure. Um, in terms of feel, we you t we talked a little bit about the Rogue ST Max, how that one felt. Did this one feel mm -hmm. softer, firmer? This one felt a bit more responsive. Not necessarily okay. harder, but I could kind of feel where I was hitting it on the face a little better. I knew okay. when it was toey, um, I could feel that heel shot. Yeah, it just was more responsive overall. Not necessarily in a bad way. I just had a better idea of kind of what I was doing in contact. Okay, okay. And then uh, I will bring up two here. The uh, there is a difference in the spin rate. So the spin yeah. went down. You know, basically, oh, wow. yeah. and we're talking over 200 mm -hmm. RPM um, on average with the Paradigm there versus the Rogue ST Max. So yeah. there is. I don't know if that's a significant difference. You know, again, this is a smaller sample size using range balls, so it's not like. Write it down in in you know non erasable ink. Yeah. But it's it's something to note that if golfers may be looking for a lower spinning mm -hmm. driver in the Callaway series, yeah. Paradigm might be the better option for. I would say Rose. that's not surprising to see. This was definitely a spot where if someone needed a high MOI driver, but needed a reduction in the spin, Paradigm is somewhere I went a lot, and oftentimes okay. it worked pretty well. Yeah. And so the result of that too then is actually lower ball flight 100%. On, on average than Paradigm. Yeah. So, um, all right. Last club here, Paradigm mm -hmm. AI Smoke Max. Let's do it. All right, so the Paradigm AI Smoke Max now. Mm -hmm. um, I guess try to compare this look quickly to the Paradigm and Rogue ST. Yes, yeah, so I love the transition of the color a little better with that more dark gray carbon fiber. Top side of this is a lot more bulged. I can see more of that roll there. It looks very aerodynamic. Sure, okay. Um, Face-wise, very similar to that Paradigm there. Pretty square. I don't see it closed. I don't see it open. Um, I can see the scoring lines on here a little bit more, which yeah, I do I like. Yeah, them white, which yeah, is... Yeah, uh, I can just line it up a little straighter. Okay, perfect. All right, let's see what we got here with the Paradigm AI Smoke Max. Ooh, big high draw. Yeah, I was pretty flushed. And you play a draw most of the time with, 100%. with I, the driver? I yeah. draw the golf ball. That is what yeah. I do. So that good. That was a good start here. Ooh, I got some cotton on me. Landed on me. Uh, 262 on the carry. Okay. 135 on that peak height. So very high wow. in the air for sure. 2264 on the spin. These are really good numbers mm -hmm. to start with here. We'll smash on that. And the smash is 147. So even okay. it kind of indicates that you maybe didn't hit it necessarily perfect, but you still no. got really good performance out of it. I think based on that height, 10.5 might be a little much for the yeah, lot for me right I know now. you're not used to hitting 10 and a half, so. Ooh. Brought that trajectory down with that one. Yeah. Little bit more spin on that one, surprisingly. Okay. Makes sense. I swung down on it more. Okay. 
Yeah, your attack angle was a little more neutral there at 0. 0.4. 245 carry, 148 on the smash. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 256 carry there. 149 smash. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's get one more here. Oh, yeah. All right, some good swings there with the Paradigm AI Smoke Max. While I mm -hmm. dial this up, because I'm going to get, again, same treatment, best four shots that yep. we have here. So. What I'm gonna do is um, look through all the shots here. You had kind of the shot that carried 245 that I'm actually mm -hmm. gonna remove because um, that was the weakest kind of miss hit there. So yeah. I've got our averages here. Um, what do you think first of all about that feel and kind of how that club looks? I would say this is my favorite feel so far. This felt extremely responsive, a little firmer off the face, which I like. Okay. I like a lot of feedback. I could really tell where I was hitting this one. Yeah, okay. And with all the with all of them, you were mm -hmm. slightly kind of your 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 tendency was to miss a little bit right. You yeah. start that draw a little bit right, and it would kind of come back not uh -huh. all the way I would say to the yeah. center, but close. Um, so let's kind of look at it's our sort of three clubs mm -hmm. compared against each other averages here. So we got our carry. Rogue ST Max did win in the carry yeah. at two sixty five. So um, and yeah, I think you were just launching that one maybe a little bit. I just wasn't putting higher. any spin. On. I yeah, was, it was catching note. it pretty yeah. perfect. Yep. So. If we go to the total, then it should be you know kind of along those lines. But the mm -hmm. paradigm actually wins because it had lower spin. Yeah. Um, we'll go to let's go to Smash Factor here. See how those lined up. Mm -hmm. Look at that. One four nine. One four nine. One four. So really good drive. Like, yeah. like I think we can confirm all three of these drivers are really good performers 100%. across the board. Uh, we have really good feedback on those. We'll look at the spin rate here as well. See how those compare. So the paradigm AI Smoke Max spun a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think that speaks a little bit to maybe. Uh, a little bit lower face contact maybe on some of those yeah, shots absolutely. potentially. Um, so, but with that said, I know you had a couple right away, like even your that first swing, you thought that was way off the toe. Uh -huh. It just kind of flew out there with a nice draw, still 120 some feet in the air. Yep, absolutely. So we get some really good performance still out of the AI Smoke Max, mm -hmm. but I think it also, again, we got to talk about sort of the, the used selection of drivers at second yep. swing in the sense that in, the, in today's test, now again, mm -hmm. you go into the bay, and you know, you're, you're, I think most people right, are going to get the best performance out of the AI Smoke Max, and yes. then the numbers are looking for just the newest technology, the mm -hmm. smart face is a real deal. But let's call out the Rogue ST Max and the Paradigm in the sense that we have a ton of used drivers of second swing, and buying used is a terrific option for golfers. For I sure, think, right? I mean, how many? I guess, and then the fittings too that mm -hmm. you do. You do the used fittings all the time. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I would say close to half my fittings are probably for used drivers or iron sets. Yeah. Um, you can still find great stuff that's a couple years old for them much better price point. Now you won't get as much customization as you would if we went brand new, but we can still fit you into a very good driver. Yeah, it, there's, I mean, in this case, Rogue ST Max is, in terms of distance mm -hmm. and the carry distance anyway, Rogue yeah. ST Max was the winner today. Mm -hmm. It was total distance was a different story because it was a little bit spinnier, say, yeah. than the Paradigm. But um, I guess if you were to kind of summarize what we've found today, mm -hmm. So we had um, some really good performance again from all three, but I yeah. guess how would you, if someone's maybe interested in buying a Callaway driver, not sure if they're gonna get something brand new, mm -hmm. maybe something a couple years old, what yeah. would you say? Um, I mean, the first thing that sticks out to me is ball speed. Yeah. 149 smash factor in all three of these. Yeah. We were getting plenty of speed when I wasn't hitting it perfectly. Yeah. Um, this is why we test it. You always wanna find the best model for yourself. For me, that, Rogue ST was working pretty well in terms yeah. of its spin rate. I was able to carry it at quite a long ways. Um, as far as the feel goes, I honestly probably like the AI Smoke the most. Yeah. Well, those are the kind of things that you weigh in a fitting. Um, I would say I'm a little surprised by the Paradigm being as low spin as it was. Yeah. I mean, I knew it was a low spin driver, but 1800 for the average is pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. And again, we're this is you using a loft and and you know specs that you're not yeah, used to 100%. using. So that's probably a little bit of a factor here. For what it's worth, the highest ball speed today was the Paradigm AI Smoke Max. Mm -hmm. um, it was just barely the fastest swung club. Yeah. Uh, that one and the Rogue ST Max were very close. Mm -hmm. uh, but m another mile an hour ball speed with the AI Smoke Max. Okay. So, Absolutely. Um, we got, I mean, depending on what you're looking for, you're going to get what you need in, mm -hmm. in a Callaway driver, one of these three models. So 100%. I think it's a great way to wrap it up. I mean, three great drivers from Callaway over the last three years. Um, if you're looking for kind of uh, maybe to pinch a penny or two, mm -hmm. want something that still performs great though, yeah. uh, the Rogue ST Max or the Paradigm are gonna be mm -hmm. great options. 
want something brand new that you can customize in the tour van environment with yep. someone like Jake or any of our master fitters, Paradigm AS Smoke Max still performed really great today mm -hmm. and we can dial it in for you. So Jake, thanks for doing all the swinging today. Hit some really good tee shots out there. Um, great stuff today. Yeah, thanks for having me.